after X, chickens has disappeared from the shelves of Russian shops. Putin, where the chicken? Soon it will be like this with all foodstuffs. We must stock up before it's too late. Russian authorities tried to present the egg shortage as an accident, but they have not been able to solve the problem for several weeks. Imports from Azerbaijan and Turkey did not help to reduce the price of products, and the demand could not be fully satisfied. The question is how the economy and society reacts to it. If it reacts with memes, as in the USA, that is one story. But when the whole state has to work hard to solve the problem of the cost of chicken eggs, and at the same time we see people standing in a queue for two hours in 20 degree frost to buy a tray of cheaper eggs, it is not an indicator that everything is fine in the economy. Prices are rising for the most goods in Russia. The Kremlin is trying to justify the critical situation on the market by increasing consumption growth and the untimely reaction of local authorities to it. But this is not the case. Purchasing power has declined. Inflation is eating away the salaries and pensions of Russians. The big share of the federal budget goes to Russia's war against Ukraine. And the rise in prices for food and industrial goods is also the responsibility of Putin, who unleashed a full-scale war against Ukraine. After all, for example, the rise in the price of chicken eggs is a direct consequence of Western sanctions against the aggressor country. Poultry farms depend on the imported goods, such as feed additives, which used to be delivered from the Europe. What Belgium used to supply, such as the amino acid required for chicken production, is now supplied by China. And given that the European part of Russia, where the main consumer is, is far away from China, the costs associated with the delivery of this product from Beijing to the European part of Russia begin to increase accordingly. China is raising prices because it realizes that it is actually a monopolist in supply supplying a large number of different products necessary for production. Western sanctions have already brought entire sectors of Russian industry to crisis. Russia has no plans to end the war, which means that there will be even more restrictions on the aggressor. There is already a competition here. Europe imposes sanctions. Russia starts to circumvent them. It should be understood that Russia does not compensate 100% for the losses from sanctions. It circumvents to some extent. Europe watches how Russia does it and tries to cover these holes. Russia reacts and looks for new holes somewhere. Kind of like an intellectual confrontation. The Kremlin has decided to spend budget funds exclusively on the war against Ukraine. Expenditures on social protection, education and health care has already been cut and will be reduced more. At the meeting with residents of Chukotka, Putin emphasized that when addressing issues, one should be guided by, quote, a consideration of priorities of the greatest importance here and now. Obviously, the quality of life of Russians is not a priority for Putin. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.